on Saturday? Um, I'm so excited, and so are all my teammates. We were actually talking about that in the lift today, that it's actually game week. It's it's here, and uh, man, we're so excited to go out there and be out in front of the, the Kansas State fans. It's something that we've looked forward to this whole off season training, so for that to, to be this close, it gets me fired up. Brendan, uh, UT Martin has an experienced quarterback and a few experienced offensive linemen mm -hmm. as well. What challenges does that present, I guess, in general for a team when you have to play such an experienced offense week yeah, one? Yeah, they have a good quarterback, um, a good uh, interior um, offensive line, um, and that's something that we've uh, looked at, game planned around, and we just have, have faith in our coaches and the game plan that they put together, and also we have faith in our players up front in the back end that we're going to go out there and do our job, and we're super excited for it. How crazy has competition been in, in, in the defensive bedroom over this offseason? If Lyman says there's six or seven guys that could be out there and you wouldn't miss, miss a beat. Yeah, uh, I've said it all along. The depth we have at D-line and as pass rushers is huge. Um, a lot of good competition. I think that at the end of the day, it's good to have those many guys because we all push each other. We all are learning from each other and getting better because uh, iron sharpens iron, and and to be able to to bounce things off of each other to to make each other better in the weight room and on the field, I think it makes our 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 D line just better and closer as a whole. The fact that there's three defensive end positions on the two deep, does that just show how how tough the competition is there? Yeah, absolutely. We have a bunch of guys that, like the coaches have said, like we've said, um, are going to be able to and will make an impact on the field. Uh, in different situations and base downs, third downs. Uh, we just have a, a lot of guys that, that can go out there and make plays. And uh, K-State fans should be really excited come come Saturday on what kids, uh, what the kids are going to be able to do. What's impressed the most with Damian at <clears throat> tackle? Um, Damian's just a solid, hardworking kid who's also a really good leader. And... Uh, He's someone that comes in every day, leaves his uh, emotions at the door, and just comes in and work. And uh, he's not afraid to hold anyone accountable. He's a great leader in that way. And uh, he's he's someone that I I'm blessed to be able to to have up front with me on the on the D line. Who's um, kind of made that big jump from since practice one up until now? Um, just anyone? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, I'd just say that a guy that I haven't gotten to know the, the most but has really stuck out on film just making plays, making big hits is, is Jordan Riley. Uh, I think he's going to be a stud. Uh, he's made some, a lot of times on film I'll just be like, dang man, like who, who is that? Who who just made that hit and it's Jordan Riley and he's someone that, that K-State fans should be super excited to, to watch the, this season. When you guys go